Today, boys and girls, we have found the true best player in the class of 2021. What's good, everybody? Hope you're having a blessed day and welcome back to Sharp Sports. And today we're taking a look at the player who hands down statistically was the best player period in the class of 2021. Today we're taking a look at the nation's touchdown leader and he's got that record by a country mile. I'm talking about the six foot, 185 pound four star running back coming out of Howardsville High School, as well as Texas Longhorn commit, Jonathan Brooks. In Jonathan's senior year, he had 4,054 all-purpose yards and 70 touchdowns. Oh, but Marcus Neverwin hasn't had their season yet. I don't care if anybody could come close to putting up Jonathan's stats, I'll make a separate video on them. But until then, Jonathan is the king of the 2021 recruiting class because he went out there and dominated more than anybody else. Real quick before we jump into Jonathan's highlights, if you haven't already, be sure to leave this video a like. Let's give this video to 777 likes. Also, be sure to comment down below. What's the most touchdowns you have ever scored in a season? For me, it was three. We didn't pass the ball a lot, but yeah, for me, it was three. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, answer your notification, because you don't want to miss any of the fire videos that we drop on the channel. But with that being said, let's jump straight into Jonathan's highlights and see what the boy was looking like in 2021. Three, two, one. Psh out route, yup. And he's got good hands out of the backfield too. So hey, like I said, all my RBs. If you are not working on catching the ball at the backfield, you are your your recruiting stock is going way down. Look at how smooth this dude is. What he said? Yeah, and hey, screw no. Nope. <laughs> Yo, that reminds me of like the Braxton Miller spin move at when he was at Ohio State. That was cold. Undercut that. Yeah, I'll take that. Ooh, nice tip. Oh, and yo, let's go. Got him on defense on his first play. So he had, if I remember his stats correctly, he had 62 rushing touchdowns, which is disgusting by itself. I, I'll put the number here. I forgot what the difference was, but he like clearly had more touchdowns than everybody else by far. He had like 62 rushing touchdowns. I think, ooh, I see the shake, let's go. He had about two or three receiving touchdowns. He had that fumble recovery touchdown. I think he had a pick six as well. Yeah, I mean, he's a four star guy, so it's not like he's just like supremely under ranked, but come on, bro. You have 4,000 all purpose yards and 70 touchdowns and you can't get a five star and you play for a top team in the country. Like, come on. This dude reminds me a lot of Le'Veon Bell. He has like a lot of patience, is able to make guys miss effortlessly. And then he has that nice straight line speed. Hit that outside, that's easy money. Big inside, yup. Uh, okay, that was, that was actually a pretty good attempt by that. Bro, I mean, look at look at how smooth that was. Look at how he literally just cuts behind this dude and he goes from the 35 all the way to the 30 just by cutting up field one time. That, that, that's money right there. And uh, pick, give me that. Like that, like that open, like that open field speed. He is, you're not, you're just not catching him. One thing I can say he could work on is accelerating a little bit more out of his cuts. Like for example, on, on a play like this, just having a little bit quicker foot speed so he could break down and not lose so much of this speed. Way to split that though. Yeah, no, this dude, he's a very fluid runner. He, he just. I've been seeing this a lot actually recently because I've been saying it a lot of, uh, in a lot of my videos and it's just because I've been seeing a lot of these younger running backs doing it. A lot of running backs have that Alvin Kamara trait now where it, before I felt like, nice catch. It, it was more so of like, I'm trying to make you miss by a country mile. Now guys are just like, hey, I just need to, I just need to barely make you miss. They, they run really fluidly, just making guys miss. Just, they're very uh, loose up top, just making, being able to make guys miss effortlessly. And oh, let's go, yeah. How did he, how did he tiptoe that? That's what's up. That is what's up. Yo, Jonathan's gonna be, hey, all my, all my UT fans, yo, comment down below. What, what do you guys think of Jonathan Brooks? I mean, the last time that you guys got the nation's touchdown leader, you guys got Cyrus Gray. Had a decent season or a decent career at, at UT. And 
And that's the crazy thing. When Cyrus Gray was a touchdown leader, he had 60 touchdowns. This dude has 70. Like 70 touchdowns to me is like inconceivable. He had 28 points a game by himself. Well, 24 if you're not counting extra points, but still. Dude was his own offense. Like literally you, you roll up with just him and he'll do just fine. Nice cut block, okay. Like that little, not, not that play. Look, look at how just that little, like just little jump cut up field. Hey, that's yards every single time. Keep them feet dropping. You can run them over. I ain't stopping you. So obviously I know that when it comes to, when it comes to like recruiting and, uh, and ranking players that you're not ranking them based off of their stats. Obviously stats is a part of that, but you're but That's a five-star play. Yeah. But you're more so basing them off of their potential. Okay. Number five, I was about to say, if he didn't score that, that was all on you. Um, <clears throat> whatchamacallit. I know it's not based a hundred percent on stats. I do think that he is a, a four-star running back. I could just tell like when you just compare him to certain other five-star running backs, he doesn't have the crazy top end speed or the crazy elusiveness. He, he just a really solid mix of a lot of with a lot of good traits that running backs have. So I think a four star is, is correct. But I mean, again, if we're if we're talking about like the player of the year, he should be the player of the year in, in 2021. Like, come on, bro. Four th like I, I'm, I'm going to keep on repeating because I, I don't think y'all get it. Four thousand yards in 15 games and 70 touchdowns. Come on, man. He was averaging over 280 yards on the ground and four touchdowns a game. Come on. And he can play a little bit of defense too. Wait, wait, did he strip that? Yo, he said, get, get, get over me, little boy. Get baby. Oh, just walk him. Walking into the end zone, it's too easy for him. Again, just just so deceptive, just little head fakes. Again, nothing too crazy. Just I, I gotta just make you miss. Like you know, I'm not gonna make you miss by 15 yards. I just have to make you miss. You can miss by a half inch, and I still made you miss. Nice stiff arm. He he like to me. He he's just a like. Who who would be a? I feel like he's like. A Kyrie Irving type player. I feel like when you watch Kyrie Irving, wait a burst on him. When you watch Kyrie Irving, like there's certain times where he just, or more like James Harden. There's certain times where James Harden, it, it just looks like what he's doing is effortless. But then you go out there and you try and do it, and it's like, oh wow, this is a lot harder. Jonathan Brooks makes playing running back look effortless. I mean, just making guys miss with ease, stiff arms when he needs to, jukes when he needs to, has can just outrun guys like he's got the entire package he's just a very smooth player overall that's why i first said that Le'Veon, because prime Le'Veon bell was just a super patient runner well all right if i'm out here giving the sharp sports awards i'm gonna give my guy jonathan brooks the player of the year in the class of 2021 for you to ball out like that at as high of a level that you're playing at the 40 the, again the 42nd best team in texas not New Hampshire, Texas, one of the one of, if not the best state when it comes to high school football, was balling out at that level. Four thousand yards, seventy touchdowns. Dude, dude is the player of the year. All right, y'all. But I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like. Again, get this video to seven hundred and seventy-seven likes. Also, comment down below any other players that y'all want me to see. Any other UT fans? If you guys want me to check out some UT players, I got y'all. Just comment down below some names, whichever one gets the most likes. I'll probably be making a video on them. And if you have not already, and you have gotten to this point of the video, first thing I want to say thank you for getting to this point of the video. And secondly, be sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications so you never miss any of these higher videos that we're dropping on the channel and with all that being said i really do love and appreciate each and every single last one of you guys yeah i'm, I'm talking about you and the person behind you i i, I would be a little bit scared because i don't think you knew that they were there but i'm talking about them too yeah be sure you hit that subscribe button i love it appreciate all y'all i'll catch you guys in the next video ciao